I can't even put this out on the internet because you're basically canceled. I'm like those kids that invented bum fights. Hi, I'm Shannon Coffey, and I'm here with Mark Duplass. We're out here camping at Build Studio, and the vibe is just right, so we're going to share some camp confessions. I took my good friend Barrett and my brother and my friend Chris out for Barrett's bachelor party. He doesn't drink or do anything crazy, so we went camping. It included burning the names of all of his ex-girlfriends, and then we brought in one of those really terrible plastic blow-up dolls, and we put it in the tent waiting for him as a joke. And it was very funny, and he laughed. We were hiking out of the woods, and we met another group of dudes who were on a bachelor party and they talked about how it's funny how you're out in the woods for a bachelor party because it's hard to get the blow-up doll out in the woods. Then I opened up my pack and I said, we had a blow-up doll out in the woods too. They were joking about the blow-up doll. Somewhere, four gentlemen who are on the other bachelor party camping trip are telling the story to this day. Not only was that guy out there actually probably having sex with that blow-up doll. I think that guy is the guy from the league. I was more creeped out by the burning of the ex's names. If you have to burn your ex's names, mm -hmm. you're not over it. The fire won't help you. Number one. I'm even embarrassed of their names. Number one. This is so embarrassing. Okay. Is it safe to say that he looked a little bit like this? Yes, I like tall, skinny men. We okay. get it. I want you to close your eyes. All right. And tell him the one thing that you have never told him that you want to tell him. I hope you die. Rest in peace. So how do you feel now that is dead? He was already dead to me. I'm finding out that I'm actually really, really terrible at flirting because I, I guess I get flustered and I start thinking like, okay, what's your skill set? Like share mm -hmm. that. And more than once now I've blurted out, I can fix a VCR. <laughs> and that's true, like I could totally fix a VCR like if anyone needed me to fix one. Mm -hmm. But I have like way more relevant skills that I could like put out there. But mm -hmm. I, I think I get caught up, you know, and thinking like, what's, what's unique? Like what are other people not doing to attract people? As you told that, confession and it went into my spirit is that there's a fine line between niche and completely irrelevant. Yeah. And um, that's really all I have to say about that. I guess it's just like I thought, you know, like, she could fix VCRs. She might open me up and tinker with my bits until I'm complete. You know, like, there's a skill there mm -hmm. that if I can fix a VCR by myself with no training, then I'm a committed person. Like, I am someone who's going to get in there right. and... I got squiggly lines. She's going to get in here mm -hmm. and unsquiggle me. Exactly. Well, thank you so much for being here. This was a lovely time. And don't worry. Everything we shared here is just between us. Good. And the internet. Yikes!